This week I was in London at an art exhibition all about Lego and whilst I was there I wanted to take a POV photo shoot. Um, I took some photos as I came out of the station before I had a chance to put on and turn on my GoPro. So I'm showing you those first. I hope you really like these. And also at the end of this we'll also have a look at some of the photos that I took later on in that evening just on my iPhone, um, which I think turned out really great. There's some really good shots in there. So, yeah, if you've got any comments, then do let me know down below. And, yeah, see you soon. <laughs> just walking along from South Bank up to Brick Lane because I'm off to a Lego exhibition today and I thought it'd be good to take out a camera and snap some street photography whilst I'm on the way. So it's a nice enough day so rather than take the tube I thought I'd come and walk along and see what snaps I can take. This is my first time doing a POV, so if you're uh, watching this, welcome. I've got a, one of a photography video that I did a while back on the Sony A7C, which is what I shoot on. And a couple on the DJI Wireless Mic 2 that I bought recently. I'm not using that today, I'm just using the onboard sound from the GoPro at the moment. Seeing what this works like. Just snapping off some shots just to get started. Feels so strange being back here after I used to live and work in London for such a long time. Quite a nice viewer here with some pulls. I'm just using the 35mm lens, so I'll just while I turn f8. Like yeah. 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 Probably nothing special, but just like I know I don't want to keep delaying. I really like that shot. I just like the way that there's the uh, pink and white kind of like. Fence with someone running past. Oh. Oh. I don't know if you can see that over the wall there. That was just a Thames River experience. I really like the way that the yellow and black of the rib boat pops there. Really nice. <laughs> Some interesting graffiti is up here. And this is one of my favourite shots that I've got in London from under this bridge you can just kind of like frames the skyline which is really nice so I don't know how much that's gonna 
show up. Just using the 35 mil lens today. It's the only one I've brought out with me. And then we're back out the other side of Blackfriars, just by the Tate Modern. Is it Tate Modern or Tate? I can't, I'm not sure. My next is a pub that I've spent many hours in in the past, the Founders Arms. Something I've spent quite a few hours enjoying, just chilling there on the south bank opposite St Paul's Cathedral. A really nice spot, or it used to be anyway. I think it still is, it looks nice. Come out the other side and you've got a nice view of the city. So we'll frame that up a little bit. Just increase the shutter speed. It is the uh, Tate Modern. So we've got people up on the balcony up there. There's a lady there in a full on helmet going on. And this is the. Just walking under the Millennium Bridge, which is currently occupied by a million small kids. We can go on there. Get a really nice shot of St Paul's over the bridge. That is pretty cool. I'm just coming up to Shakespeare's Roundhouse. That's what it's called. What's it called? Shakespeare's Globe. Right. It's been a while since I've been here. Again, it's a really great place to go and watch some open air displays. Really is good. It's going there. It's uh, a clear spot. I don't want to have to go. I don't want to go. I don't want to go. I don't want to <laughs> I just really like the way the red of the barriers was kind of like framing him up there as he's putting on a poster. This is what it is. And I've got planes going ahead. I really forgot how noisy London can be. You know, it's older, but... Oh, well. Just busy taking a thumbnail. I think I've missed the shot. No? Still got it. There we go. Really like the way the boat's coming through there with the landscape of London in the background. It's the... Sony 1.8 35mm lens. <coughs> First time out shooting with this lens. Always amazes me the things that I here as I'm coming along. Yeah. Uh, 
to her. You didn't tell me. So I thought he would have told you. No. <sighs> Shard popping out there from this. The old ship. It's one of the oldest pubs if you're ever in London. Highly recommend going to the old ship. It's a really nice place, especially on a summer's day. You can sit out just on the edge of the Thames and enjoy that walk there. And then you've got this. Street art, church tier. Really like that. Just as I start walking under here. Probably the open out shop, but I think I should speed in a bit slow. But I like the way that looks, like the old pub down the alleyway. There was just a couple of people talking. Heading more into the city of London now. This guy clearly doesn't know how to stop it that way. There's just so much going on. Genuine. Yeah. 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 But that's up and down. Oh, no. Yeah. 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 It's not really one of I'm going to go and explore in there right now, but it's a really nice place to go if you are in London. So I'll just pause there for a second. Right. Tight looking seat. If I were going to use my phone. After I'd been to the exhibition, I didn't actually put on my GoPro again. I was off to go meet a friend for coffee and cake and just to chill out. <laughs> as you do when you're in London and catching up with friends that you've not seen for ages. So as I was walking along, I did do a little bit more, take a few more photos that I really liked just on my iPhone 15 Pro. It's actually the iPhone 15 Pro Max, which I shot in RAW 
and I just wanted to kind of like show you some of those. So let's dive in and take a look at those right now. 